Hi there, I'm Akira, and I'm here to read you a Gabby's Dollhouse story. Today, Gabby and Pandy unbox a superhero surprise. Let's find out what kind of adventure is in store for them as we read Catastic Heroes to the Rescue. Today, Gabby opened a Catastic Dollhouse delivery. It was two superhero costumes. She wore one, and Pandy wore the other. We're the Dollhouse Defenders, she said. We'll protect the dollhouse from bad guys. Gabby put on her magical headband and sang her special song, the one that makes her tiny so she can enter the dollhouse. A pinch on my left, pinch, pinch on my right. Grab Pandy's hand and hold on tight! Gabby and Pandy landed in the kitchen where Kiki was baking. Excuse me, Kiki said. Super cookies coming through. Wow. Kiki, you're a super baker, Gabby said. Suddenly, Cat Rat, the bad guy, peeked out and said, Cookies? Cat Rat jumped onto the table. I'm gonna trap every Gabby cat so all the cookies will be miney, he said. Cat Rat used his hide and seek ray to trap Kiki inside a recipe book. Oh no, Gabby exclaimed. Then Cat Rat laughed and dashed away. How are we gonna get Cakey out of there? Pandy asked. First, we have to find him, Gabby said. They looked in the book and found Cakey on a page filled with smoothies. There he is, Pandy said. He pulled Cakey out with his tail. You found me, Cakey cheered. Suddenly, a shout came from the music room. That sounds like DJ Catnip, Gabby said. Cat Rat must be at it again. Let's go. I'm super stuck. DJ Catnip cried. Cat Rat had trapped him with his bungee ray. Gabby pulled on the bungee cords. When they wouldn't budge, she slipped and fell into the instrument tree. The red tambourines crashed to the floor. Then the red cords disappeared. Look, Gabby said. The cords go away when you play an instrument that's the same color as them. Gabby and Pandy played all the colorful instruments and set DJ Catnip free. Thanks, Dollhouse Defenders, DJ Catnip danced. Boogie over here and give me a high fall. Suddenly, they heard Kitty Fairy calling for help. To the fairy tale garden, Pandy said. Nothing personal, Kitty Fairy, but I want those cookies all for myself, Cat Rat said as he captured Kitty Fairy in a bubble. Gabby and Pandy tried to jump after her, so Cat Rat shrunk them with his shrink ray. Oh no! Pandy cried. We'll never reach Kitty Fairy now. We're too tiny. Gabby looked at the floating bubbles and had an idea. Jump with me, Super Pandy. They jumped from bubble to bubble until they reached Kitty Fairy. With a big hug, they popped her bubble and set her free. Thanks for saving me, Kitty Fairy said. Let's fly down. They landed on the ground safely. Now I'll grow you back to normal size with a little garden magic, Kitty Fairy said. When they were big again, Pandy's stomach rumbled. Time for a super snack, Gabby said. To the kitchen! In the kitchen, they found Cat Rat. Oh no, he said. I've shrunk myself with my shrink ray. Now this cookie is way too big. All right, Cat Rat, I can grow you back to regular size, Kitty Fairy said. As long as you promise that you won't do any more bad guy stuff. All right, all right, Cat Rat agreed. Here's to the Dollhouse Defenders, DJ Catnip said. I'll eat to that, Cat Rat said. The end. That was a catastic story. Thank you for reading with me. For even more adventures with the Gabby Cats, watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix. DreamWorks Gabby's Dollhouse. Yeah.